my shockwave, look, it's a mini you. I'm not paying child support. The Decepticon Shockwave is one of Megatron's most loyal commanders and scientists. Absolutely brilliant at his work, but under the Decepticons, his creations take away any morality to further their cause of domination. With the Generations line, the main three Decepticons got core class figures, but based on his Generations War for Cybertron Siege toy, Legacy did a follow-up bringing him along to the core class scale. Special thanks to Justin Yates for sending this. Shockwave's alt mode is based on the Siege spaceship. As you could probably tell by the oversized front section, bridge details on top, missiles on the back that were the heels, and they even kept the side blasters, with the wings in reference to his weaponized form. I don't mind this, but it does make him seem a bit chunky. I'm glad he has silver paint, because to me, all the purple greebling starts to blur. I am disappointed those nubs at the front aren't blast compatible. Why do they keep forgetting to do this when we really want it? Yikes! Do something with the arms? If you want, he does come with an oversized orange slice to plug on top. And if you flip down the strut, that's a peg for other figures to hold it, like Megatron, Shockwave, Galactic Man, I think Menasaur, even that Combiner Wars version. I get that they're blending that Siege design to fit in with the other core class figures trying to do something similar, but perhaps more paint would help it stand out as it tends to blur in itself. Robot mode. <laughs> This version seems strangely flat and wide in the legs and chest, plus there's a lack of colors with the hand and gun. It almost feels like a basic version, still the silver is nice when used, the Decepticon logos are printed well, and we can't forget about the classic boobies, they might be flat but they're still glorious. I do like the backpack, and with the arm guns those are blast compatible. Hey, you can even bring them up over the shoulders. That's an impressive head, you can totally see how Siege influenced it. Not only does it keep the G1 nods, but the Greebling looks familiar. Did someone say? Articulation! Head rotation, shoulder joint, ball joint shoulders, ball joint elbows, ball joint hips, ball joint knees, and another knee joint. I think the knees should have been tighter, but poseability is pretty standard enough as is. A ball joint in the head would be good, but otherwise, there's enough to work with. Let's take a look at the accessory. Other than Shockwave himself, he has an orange sliced satellite dish, which explains where all the color went. It's weird in his hand, but there's other ports to work with. Three of the smaller scale with the porthole, and a normal 5mm peg on the back. I do like combining it with Megatron's cannon. You won't hear me complain about another Shockwave in the line. He's a personal favorite Decepticon. I think I feel Combiner Wars nearly knocked it out of the park, but this is still nice, especially with a better peg for the alt form. As for the robot, it's Shockwave and Proud. Special thanks to Justin Yates for sending this. Shockwave, put down the satellite. We don't need it for Netflix. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.